uh, the creator and honestly the face of the Busted Open brand, if you don't mind, I'm just going to speak by myself this morning over the things that happened uh, this past Thursday on Dark Side of the Ring. You do what you got to do. Your show, you got it. And it's not easy for me to talk uh, about this, obviously. Um, if you listen to the show on Friday, if you listen to the live show here on Sirius XM or you listen to our podcast, um, it was just hours after the Dark Side of the Ring that was played uh, on Thursday night. And uh, I came on the show uh, Friday morning and I said, you know, to you and to everyone with the Busted Open Nation that we take the comments from Tommy Dreamer very serious. Uh, we don't condone the attitude or behavior of what was said on that show uh, Thursday night. Tommy is obviously a member of our team that has not changed. Um, I was quite frankly shocked from what I heard from Tommy uh, Thursday night, and I addressed it as best I could because I thought it was important to address. Uh, a lot of people didn't think I should, and I felt that I had to, and I did on Friday. And over the weekend, uh, Tommy, uh, on all his social media platforms, apologized, and, and you could read his statement uh, on, on, on his Twitter, on his Instagram, on Facebook, and it's out there now. He, he put it out there. Uh, yesterday, late yesterday afternoon. And I think by apologizing, that's the uh, first step in the forgiveness uh, of Tommy. And it does just doesn't change what, what was said on, on that show on Thursday. And um, I felt that I needed to start off today's show to talk about a few different things. Um, I'm still quite frankly shocked by what Tommy said. I, I you know, I, I think that was definitely out of character of the Tommy that I know and that has been hosting this show for a few ne for a few years now. And I, I can't and will not defend the comments because they're they're indefensible. And quite frankly, uh the things that Tommy said, it, Tommy fucked up. I you know, Tommy fucked up on Thursday. And and what he says is insensitive and, and it won't be tolerated. And I I you know I it's you know a lot of people say about well in two thousand and twenty one you can't say this, you can't say I, I it doesn't matter if it's two thousand and twenty one, nineteen ninety eight, nineteen eighty five, it doesn't matter. I mean as a as a as a as a father, as a husband you know, knowing my daughter now is just turned 18, you know, and she's about to go out into the world, you know, going to start college soon and, and now is working. You know, th these are things that I worry about for my own family. And people have had to worry about this for years. And it's just no fucking place for it. There really isn't. There's no place for these, this type of thought process, these types of comments, these types of actions. And as I said, they're indefensible. And I'm not throwing this all on Tommy. Tommy made some insensitive remarks on Thursday. And as I said, they're not going to be tolerated. And, you know, a lot of people have been looking to us now about what we're going to do about Tommy and Tommy's future. And, and as, as far as Tommy's future on Busted Open, for the time being, he's off the show. How long? I, I don't know. I don't know how long Tommy's going to be off the show. You know, I think he needs to take some time. I think he needs some time to reflect, to understand how his comments hurt, his attitude hurt. And I, and I don't know if you can put a timetable on that. So if, if you're looking for that, I, I don't have an answer. But for the time being, Tommy's going to be off of Busted Open. And and I hope in time he does have that time to reflect and understand because words do hurt, and you need to speak, uh, you know, and and think about the victims, uh, and everything that took place and in, in that incident. And I don't think 
there's ever a time to be insensitive and, and just be flipping about, you know, something that hurt, you know, a person, a family. And I just think that they were insensitive and I, and I think we're making the right decision here that he takes some time off. So that's, that's what we're going to do with Tommy here on busted open. And, you know, looking over social media, like I had over the weekend and a lot of people are, you know, looking to me for answers, being the face of this show. I, I thought that it, it should be me that was talking to you, the busted open nation about this incident and about that show that took place on Thursday night. And I know not everyone's going to be happy. And I can't think of the people on an, on the internet. I can't think about the people on social media. I have to think about the people who are actually hurt by these comments. And this goes far beyond this show, far beyond me and far beyond a pro wrestling show. This is something in our climate and something that needs to be changed. And I, I hope this is a, a good step forward in change in the way that a lot of people think and a lot of the actions that do occur. So bully, thank you for giving me that opportunity. Uh, uh, to, to talk about those things. And I, and I, and I'm speaking from the heart. I'm not, this is not from a written page. This is not from a prepared statement by any stretch of the imagination. I just, I just came on and wanted to talk uh, to the nation. So thank you for giving me the opportunity to do that. It's, it's your show, Dave. And you know, from the first day I've ever stepped foot into this family, this job, this position, I have always given you the props of it being your rock and roll band. You want to come on today? <clears throat> you want to talk to the nation? You want to be at the forefront of this situation? You want to be the spokesperson for this situation? I completely respect that. I lay out. You said what you had to say. Tommy released a statement on social media. He said what he had to say. And that's it. Yep. And, and as I said, Tommy's going to take, uh, you know, he's, he's going to be off the show for the time being. I mean, that's the best way I could put it. He's going to be off the show for the time being. How long that's going to be, I really don't have an answer. And, um, and, I hope anybody that was hurt by those comments and, and, you know, I, you know, you have, you know, for me, like I said, as, as, as a, as a father and as a husband, I, I was offended by the things that I heard last Thursday. So I completely understand people feeling the way that they do. Those are my, those are my feelings. Those are my comments. I made the comments on Friday. I made these comments today. Uh, we're going to do the best we can to move forward and put on a show uh, to be entertaining for you uh, this morning. I'm not going to post about this on social, social media because putting something on social media to me seems contrived. It, it's, I, I spoke from my heart on Friday and I spoke from my heart today. So I, I, you know, it's draining for me. That's not something I can put in a tweet in 120 characters on Twitter or post on Facebook. This is coming from my heart. And I thought the best way to do that to was address to everyone directly. So this is my statement on Tommy. That's our statement as a show on Tommy. Once again, you know, you know, Tommy, Tommy is off the show for the time being. And there's no timetable to his return. Tommy is a part of our team. And, you know, and as of right now, he's off the show. Uh, Bully, when we come back, we'll start our show. And we'll do our best to entertain. And we'll do that. We're back right here on Bus.